I'm Jeff Myers, and welcome to a special edition of the Jones Intercable Week in Review. Now, this week, it's our Night to Remember special, the premiere of the motion picture Titanic in Elgin at the Fox Theater with Elgin's Titanic survivor, Eleanor Schumann. So for the next 30 minutes, get ready. We'll show you all the festivities of the night and the movie as Eleanor meets her public. So I'll we'll have all that and more coming your way on our Jones Intercable premiere of the motion picture Titanic, A Night to Remember, and we'll do that right after these. The sinking of the Titanic on the morning of April 15, 1912, near Newfoundland in the Atlantic Ocean, is a story that never seems to be forgotten. It was the first modern event that was really covered by the world press and seemed to link everyone in the world at that time. Now, also, the Titanic, perhaps, uh, it was forgotten for just a few years, seemed to reappear in our everyday thought process with the making of the motion picture in the mid-50s called A Night to Remember. Then, as you might recall, in the mid-1980s, there was an expedition that, with cameras that went down to the ocean's floor to actually see the remains of the Titanic, and that brought the story home to a modern generation. Then an attempt in 1996 to raise the Titanic has forever made the story simply unforgettable. There were just over 2,200 people on the Titanic on that night. 1,600 were men. Just over 300 survived there. There were about 440 women, about 315 survived, and there were 105 children aboard the luxury liner, 52 survived. Now, one young girl who survived was young Eleanor Johnson, who was at the time 18 months old. She grew up and became Eleanor Schumann. Her story, which we'll hear more of, has become well documented. Eleanor lives in Elgin, and when the new motion picture Titanic premiered, her movie came to town, and Eleanor was there. Eleanor Schumann, our Elgin Titanic survivor, arrived at the Elgin Fox Theater on Friday night, December 19th, for the premiere night of the most expensive movie ever made. More than $200 million was the cost for the movie Titanic. Every seat for the viewing of this film was sold out as inside theater manager Fred Cook and a lobby full of folks gathered to see Eleanor and this opening night event sponsored by Jones Intercable and the Elgin Fox Theater. We want to welcome everyone here to the uh, Elgin Fox Theater on this uh, very historical night. We're going to hear from uh, Elgin Mayor Kevin Kelly in just a few moments. We want to give everybody, a, a, well, give specifically Eleanor Schumann, who is a Titanic survivor. Can you believe it, kids? 85 years ago, the Titanic takes place. Eleanor was on that vessel, and she's right here with us tonight. So let's give Eleanor Schumann a big round of applause. Eleanor has become really a citizen of the world. She lives here in Elgin, but she was on Canadian television uh, last night. Uh, she was on Channel 7 just moments ago. She was on Entertainment Tonight a couple of weeks ago. She was on all the other Chicago stations as well. So what we want to do is we want to bring out our own Elgin Mayor, Kevin Kelly, to say a few words to Eleanor Schumann, our Titanic survivor. Mayor? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to be here tonight on this uh, premier event. Uh, and I'm sure you're all looking forward, as I am and, and as Eleanor is, to uh, see the movie Titanic here in a few moments. Uh, Elgin is very proud to have Eleanor Schumann as one of our own, uh, one of the few uh, remaining survivors of the Titanic tragedy in the entire world and perhaps the only one in the United States. Um, it's great to have you here and uh, it's an honor to meet you and we hope you enjoy the movie uh, and all the people that have come out to see you as well as the movie tonight. Um, I first became aware of the whole Titanic uh, situation when I was a little kid. My folks used to have what they called supper club and they'd have four or five couples over and they'd all eat and they'd put us kids in the back room. And there was a movie on the TV called A Night to Remember and perhaps some of you have seen that movie. It was made in the late 50s. And so we were all sitting on the bed and this movie came on and we didn't know anything about it but we watched it and it was fascinating. And I can remember at the time just being glued to the TV and being four or five years old, you didn't really know the story so you didn't know what was gonna happen at the end. And so it was really sad uh, when the ship went down at the end and I'm sure it was very, very tragic for those that can remember uh, what happened. Um, obviously, tonight the movie's going to tell the story. Uh, a couple of years ago, there was an outstanding uh, uh, story on uh, video on PBS 
that told the story of the Titanic tragedy in a lot of detail and, and a very good history lesson. Uh, also, I could re recommend a book by Clive Cussler that really is uh, it's called Raise the Titanic. It's fiction, but it relates into the Titanic. And so uh, the Titanic and the tragedy related to it has really been a big part of our society in terms of our history lessons and our entertainment to some extent uh, for the last 85 years. And, and uh, one thing that I think we should remember is what really happened uh, uh, those several hours uh, back in 1912, all of the people that lost their lives. And I have a gift I'd like to present on behalf of the people of Elgin uh, to Eleanor for being here tonight and for being a, a fine resident of the Elgin community. It's a crystal box embossed em, em, with the Elgin City Seal, so she can put the candy in that or, or uh, something else uh, Christmas related. Uh, it's now my pleasure to turn the microphone back over to uh, Jones Inner Cables and Elgin's own Jeff Myers. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Very nice gift. Also, we do have some uh, lifesavers. We call them Jones Intercable Lifesavers we'll give out a little bit later. Now, if you had those on the vessel, Ellen, well, you're here, so obviously you're all right. So w what we're going to have here, also I want to introduce a couple of folks. Eleanor's son, Earl, along with his lovely wife, Debbie, waving out there. Debbie, there, big round. Of, and uh, young uh, Melissa and Robert are here. So without Eleanor surviving the Titanic, these folks wouldn't be here. Well, Debbie, I guess, could be but they wouldn't be here, so we do appreciate that as well. Fred uh, Cook is the uh, very fine manager of, of the Elgin Fox Theater, is he not? So, yes, one of them. So let's bring Fred out for a big round of applause here. We have some gifts to give away. And Fred, why don't you tell us you've got some goodies. Why don't you step up here and tell us that? Thank you, Jeff. And folks, thank you all for being here tonight. I think it's wonderful that you're here. Eleanor, on behalf of both uh, Jones Intercable and ourselves, we want to give you a certificate for a dinner at Elliott's Restaurant sometime when you'd like to go there. And we also have a, for you and any guest you care to bring, a lifetime pass to the Elgin Fox Theater. We'd like you to have those just as our way of saying thank you for being here with us tonight. We do appreciate it, Eleanor, very much. Yeah. Hey. Eleanor's gonna give, give me that lifetime pass, aren't you? Yeah. I'm gonna arm wrestle Eleanor right before the movie. We'll arm wrestle right there and we'll see who's gonna, yeah, she's hiding it already. Let me tell you a couple of details about Eleanor before we let her talk and I'll get off the stage. Eleanor's lived in Elgin for 61 years now. She was 18 months old when she was on the Titanic along with her brother who was four and her mom who was 26, I believe. All three survived. They, they, uh, get off on the collapsible D, we'll say the li last lifeboat on the Titanic. So Eleanor is just about the last folk off the Titanic. She uh, then, uh, as we said, moved here to Elgin some 60 years ago and has had all her adult life here. She's been everywhere uh, lately, as we said. She's appeared on every network. She's been a citizen of the world. So on this night, with the movie opening up, no one here has seen the Titanic movie, have they? The new one? Not you, Earl. No one has, have they? You've seen it over here? You're dismissed, they saw it earlier today, but no one else in the room has seen it except Eleanor a couple of times, so we're gonna bring her up. She's seen the movie and enjoyed it very much, and feel free to ask Eleanor some questions when we have the Titanic survivor right here. Eleanor, come on, uh, can you stand up here for a minute? Come on up, big round of applause for Eleanor Schumann. Uh, I've seen the movie twice in Chicago. It's very, very good. You'll be surprised when you see it. You tell everybody how realistic it was, how it, the special effects are so good. They are very realistic. You think you are there. It made me feel like I was there again. We'll take some questions. Anybody would have some questions of Eleanor. She said she's seen the movie. It's simply incredible. So we thought we'd make this kind of a history lesson for the young kids here at the Fox Theater 
on this uh, opening night. Uh, shout out your name. Christine Donovan. All right. And what would be your question? Um, how many of your family members are on the ship with you? All right. Well, you can tell that, Ella. How many family members? I can answer for Ella. She had her mom and her brother, Harold, who was four, all survived. Is that right, Ed? Mm -hmm. you, you hold that up. I don't know how else to do it. Oh, uh, okay, you go ahead. Was your mom what? Oh yeah. Well, you oh yes, I was just a baby. Yeah, she had to stay with mom. Oh, and you're on the collapsible D, weren't you? Yes, I was on the collapsible D. All right. We please. drifted aboard. Uh, and that ocean all night long, and it was bitter cold. Okay, next. Oh. Then we'll have a youngster. Um, so your dad didn't, was he on the cruise with you, or did he just not get on? No, my dad wasn't with me. He stayed behind in St. Charles. Okay, let's have one adult. Do we have an adult? Who's over the age of 30 that will admit to it? Anybody over there? Oh, right here, a young 30-year-old? Yes. So how many survivors are there, and did they get together? Oh, yeah, do you still get together with the survivors at all? I have i don't know. It's hard to tell now because they keep popping up all the time. There's six survivors now. Even if you go to the Internet, it differs a little bit. Six survivors. There might be two that still live in the United States. Now, Eleanor went back when they tried to bring the Titanic up in 1996, the summer of. You were there in uh, Newfoundland, weren't you, in the Atlantic Ocean, out that way. You made that trip. Right. And some of the survivors came back for that, did they not? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we saw a couple survivors. We don't have yearly uh, picnics anymore, I guess. But for a few years you did. Did you not get together? Conventions. I had a lot of fun at them, too. <laughs> All right. Also, Eleanor, if I, Earl can correct me, I think Eleanor was at the premiere of A Night to Remember in 1954, as the mayor talked about. You went to New York to see that, did you not? Yes. No, I didn't. Uh oh, forget it. Make up the story. I can't remember where I went. No, but she saw the movie. She. <laughs> All right. Details. Yeah. No, I know. It. I'll step back. <laughs> Uh, emotions of the night, you know, only 18 months old. Do you remember anything from the night? Just getting into the lifeboat. Uh -huh. That's all I remember. Seeing oh. the heads, the lifeboat going down, getting into it. A couple of statistical notes to pass along to you. First of all, we'll have more of the press conference with Eleanor Schumann, our Elgin Titanic survivor, just a couple of seconds. There were 20 lifeboats on the Titanic that night. In theory, they would seat 50 folks comfortably, so you could have saved 1,000, saved just over 700. Some of the early boats, as reported historically over the years, that went out uh, not quite full because no one believed it was a serious situation, didn't want to be inconvenienced to put out to sea early in the evening. So there wouldn't have been enough lifeboats for everybody, but of course they could have used a few more. There were 16 regular lifeboats. There were four of the collapsibles. As we mentioned, Eleanor was on a collapsible D. So there were three other of those as well. So that's some of the lifeboat statistics uh, coming our way on the Titanic. There are, we mentioned in the, the piece there that they're on the night of, again, that was December 19th, the premiere of the motion picture Titanic that Eleanor is appearing at. The movie was sold out all that night. The first week was in, weekend was incredible business for the motion picture Titanic, made about $27 million nationwide. It is the most expensive movie ever made. It was to have been released in July of this year, but they they couldn't quite finish it or couldn't quite theorize how they would quite wrap it up, I guess. So they waited until the, the Christmas months, and it's getting greater and better reviews than I thought it would. It's going to get some Academy Award nominations at Will next spring. It got some Golden Globe nominations, so what looked like a major disaster movie-wise, apparently with the information coming out in the first handful of days as we uh, videotape this, the motion picture is going to be much more well thought of than we thought. The set of the Titanic, if you've seen the movie already, the set they use in the motion picture is 90% actual length and height of the real Titanic, if you can imagine that. 
There are now seven survivors. We, we found an additional survivor. If you go to your internet and some of the websites there in the Titanic, seven survivors. There are two other survivors in the United States, one living in Massachusetts and one living in Minnesota. So Eleanor is one of seven after 703 survived on that morning of April 15th, 1912. We've got more of the press conference from the night to remember the premiere of the motion picture Titanic when this special edition of the Jones Inner Cable Week in Review continues after these words. Welcome back to our special. Of course, it's the opening night premiere of the motion picture Titanic that took place at the Elgin Fox Theater on Friday night, December 19th. We have Elgin's own Eleanor Schumann, our Titanic survivor, is the special guest. We just had uh, kind of a wonderful time in the lobby way out there, courtesy of the good folks at Elgin Fox Theater and Fred Cook and everybody. Had a wonderful time as Eleanor took questions from the audience. So let's go back to the press conference on that night and more of Eleanor Schumann. My dear, um, why were you there? Why were you on the vi uh, Titanic? Were you on a vacation trip? No, we. My, my mother was called to Finland because her father was dying. It was on our return trip that I got on the Titanic. Just dumb luck, I guess. Um, <laughs> other, here we're gonna newspaper man. Give me a question. When you met director James Cameron, what did he talk to you about? <laughs> well, we didn't talk too much, but he was a very friendly man. He said I reminded him of Rose, a girl that plays the leading the voice. So you, when you listen to the voice of Rose, you'll think of me. There, she's in the movie, and, and again, uh, was up for an award now because the Golden Globe Awards nominations came out yesterday, and the character Rose was one of them. All right, who else do we have? Anybody out over here? What was your Third ticket? Third class. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I'm sorry. Over here. Go ahead, sir. Do you have any uh, remains of the Titanic? Do you have any uh, artifacts? No, not a one. Not a one. What was the question? So, does she have any uh, thing that was on the Titanic with her? Any remains or anything? And everything ended up i know she's often told us her ticket ended up at the bottom of the ocean which they may now dig it up on a discovery special discovery channel she has one remain. yes right herself you yes you you came back <laughs> came back from the titanic yeah. any other questions we we want to make sure we cover everything over here i keep not looking that way go ahead sir uh, you know who actually helped put her on the light? Who helped put you on the lifeboat? Can you tell that story? Who what? Who helped put you on the lifeboat on the uh, collapsible D? Who dropped you down? It, it, it was your nanny or your... Uh, my mother. Uh, your mom did it? My mother was carrying me. I was only 18 months old. And she, she went to hand me to the man in the lifeboat, and I didn't want to go. So I started screaming and yelling. And uh, it was just a commotion there. There was screaming and yelling, and everybody was fighting. And some of the men had guns in their hands. And it was terrible. I'm glad I don't remember that much. <laughs> Eleanor tells the story, I believe Earl would have to tell me if this is true, that her brother Harold is, uh, isn't he dropped, thrown down? Yes. He was left behind, and the other girl that was traveling with us was holding her, him. And she looked to see if she'd followed her into the lifeboat, but she had, and she was still up on deck holding Harold. So she called to her to drop Harold, but she was so frightened she couldn't. So a man standing next to her took Harold out of her arms and dropped him into the lifeboat. And in all history books, there's a, there's a picture of everybody in the collapsible D. Again, it's just about the last boat that you can go see it at anywhere in the Discovery Channel specials or National Geographic. That is, Eleanor is in that boat somewhere so please point it out in the last 85 years she hasn't found herself in the photo but hopefully she'll take a look at it someday and find herself but uh, it is a very very impressive photo any other questions fred why don't you come on back up here we want to we appreciate everybody coming out of course mayor kevin kelly who's going to see the movie in just a few moments as well and all the press that are here and earl and, and company and mr cook as well and uh, we just had a wonderful time here fred well, we want to thank uh, Jones Intercable, 
And we at the Elgin Fox Theater also want to thank Eleanor for taking the time and coming being with us tonight and Jones Intercable for working so closely with us on this. Hope you all have a tremendous time with the show tonight. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Eleanor. Thank you. They're yours. <laughs> A highlight of the Titanic evening for many was an autograph from Eleanor. Eleanor is not able to sign as much as she once could, but wrote until she could no more. Also, we gave Eleanor a commemorative 1997 Christmas ornament for her tree at home. No doubt this is a rare collectible already as Eleanor signed the Titanic lobby display with the premiere night's date of December 19, 1997 added by Fred Cook. Just outside the theater, those Jones and Cable lifesavers handed out by staff member Michelle Zorzi were certainly in demand, just in case the special effects of the iceberg began to scare you. Mayor Kevin Kelly and his lovely wife settled in for the three hour and 15 minute plus journey of the Titanic. And as this night to remember came to a close, Fred Cook walked Eleanor to her waiting safe transportation. A limousine courtesy of McHenry Limousine Service and driver Daryl Franklin. As Eleanor just about got into the limo, these two young ladies had this to say. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Can I get an autograph? Oh, you've got to go right. And off into the night rode the most famous citizen of Elgin, Eleanor Schumann, one of just a handful of survivors still alive from the most well-known disaster of modern times, the sinking of the RMS Titanic back on April 15th, 1912. And into history forever, of course, the Titanic would sail. We had a wonderful, can we show you this? We're going to take a look at this camera one. This is uh, Matt Krieger. This is from the night. That's Eleanor right there. She's right sitting in front of the lobby card, which you saw during her special that she signed. So if you go out to the Elgin Fox Theater, I believe that's still up. You could see that lobby card in the back and Eleanor signing that. Okay, Al, that's good enough there. That was a wonderful photo. We wanted to mention that. That was in the Saturday, December 20th Courier News. Our good friend Matt Krieger with a really an award-winning photo, the shades of past and present. So that's our special. We've always uh, loved Eleanor Schumann, of course, for the great history that she brings to Elgin and just thought of different ways to salute this uh, lady who's had a remarkable life and, of course, has the stories from the Titanic. Again, her mom also survived and her brother both passed away in calendar year 1968, but both came back from the most incredible disaster of all time, the sinking of the Titanic. So our thanks to Eleanor Schumann and also to her son Earl and uh, wife Debbie and of course the kids out there and for the the young kids like we like to say the young Andrews youngsters out there who asked all the questions of the Titanic they had great interest in this incredible story so we do appreciate that we're gonna say goodbye with you for more footage of the night of the Titanic when we had some fun with Eleanor Schumann for the great cast and crew of the Jones Center Cable Week in Review I'm Jeff Meyer and see you next time microphone yeah, you can do that. If I can lower this at all. Can you do that? El Eleanor has seen the movie. She says it's sensational. It's absolutely sensational, is it not? It, is it not, Eleanor? Come on over here and tell the folks just how good that movie is. You, you talk, she talks into a microphone nightly. She does this all the time. You might see her on the Discovery Channel from time to time. Come on over, Eleanor. I think he talks too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What would you like? Uh, t tell everybody, you've seen the movie twice, is that right? Tell us about uh, it. I've seen the movie twice in Chicago. It's very, very good. You'll be surprised when you see it. Did it bring back, uh, it was so realistic, you might have to really shout into this, Eleanor. Yeah, it's slipping a little bit. All right, your mic is slipping. So am I. Oh, you tell everybody how realistic it was, how it, the special effects are so good. They are very realistic. You think you are there. Okay. Get closer, okay?
Put up your pictures. How's your lights? Yeah. One more. Put your picture down. Put, no, put your picture up. Show it. Smile. Brett, smile. Great. One more. There we go.